Hello and welcome to this presentation. My name is Frederick Linz, I'm the CEO of Exhaustive Labs. And today I'd like to review the main features of our product, Exhaustive. When you design an FPGA, at some point you need to transit from simulation to the real board. Running tests at this stage generally consists in reserving some logic and memory in the FPGA to record the evolution of the nodes you wish to observe and read it back through the chip JTAG interface. Of course it is a useful approach, but storing traces in the FPGA memory severely limits what you'll be able to see from the running FPGA. The size of the storage defines your observation window. This window, which is represented here with a blue rectangle, is the portion of the timeline that will be captured. In many instances, it is much too small to catch random bugs. Exhaustive is also a kind of uh, embedded instrumentation for FPGA. Like JTAG-based logic analyzer, we also insert a piece of IP into the FPGA, and this IP is also uh, responsible for sampling the nodes that you have chosen. But unlike a JTAG-based logic analyzer, we don't store all the traces inside the FPGA, but we, we reserve a very large memory outside of the F FPGA instead. And this large RAM is connected to the IP that's inside the FPGA through a high bandwidth channel that really uses the FPGA SIRDIS or F FPGA transceivers. That approach lets you explore a lot more than what you are used to seeing with a JTAG-based logic analyzer. The first capture scenario consists in filling the FPGA IP memory and send this data quantity multiple times to the external memory. This is an advantage, of course, because it greatly extends the coverage that you have on the timeline and provides you with a better chance to catch the events that you are looking for. In a second capture scenario, Exhaustive is used to stream data continuously to the external memory. Of course, the main requirement is that the bandwidth available at the transceiver's connection with the external probe is larger or equal to the data rate required to sample the data in the FPGA. In that case, the memory located in the IP is just a temporary storage buffer. Here is an overview of Exhaustive. It is composed of three parts. First, the Exhaustive dashboard application running on a workstation under Windows, Linux or Mac. Then the Exhaustive hardware probe and the Exhaustive IP inserted into the target FPGA. The Exhaustive dashboard software is used to configure and insert the Exhaustive IP into the target FPGA and to control the IP with the exhaustive probe to capture data from inside the FPGA. The exhaustive IP is connected on one side to the nodes that you wish to look at and on the other side to the exhaustive probe via the FPGA transceivers. The exhaustive probe contains the main trace storage with up to 8 GB. Here 100 bits were sampled at 250 MHz. Using a JTAG logic analyzer, we could watch 13 microseconds of runtime. However, we have had to use 40 KB of storage in the chip. With Exhaustive, we could watch close to 3 seconds with a much smaller footprint on the FPGA memory. The Exhaustive probe provides two types of connector on its front panel. First, a group of 4 times SFP plus cages, one for each transceiver, they can be used with standard copper or optical cables. There is also a more compact yet slower HDMI type connector. This one uses a custom pinout. Some standard connectors on the target board require using an adapter, like FMC connectors for instance. In addition, please be aware that we constantly qualify new connectors. Please contact us to know more about it. This is a first example. This is a VCU 108 board from Xilinx with a Vertex Ultrascale FPGA. 
it can be connected to the exhaustive probe with either the QSFP plus cage or with one of the FMC connectors. Here you can see other examples from the custom board to the uh, ASIC prototyping system. You'll find additional resources on our website, like a list of supported boards and or connecting guide in case you'd like to add a connector for exhaustive to your custom FPGA board. As for IP insertion, exhaustive provides two insertion flows. The first flow is called automatic or netlist flow and is available for Xilinx FPGA. It uses an integration with Vivado to insert the exhaustive IP after design synthesis. First, you synthesize the target design. Then, with exhaustive dashboard software in Vivado, you configure an instance of the exhaustive IP and select the nodes to be observed from the target design. The generated exhaustive IP core is inserted into the target design and connected to the chosen nodes automatically. After this, you need to run place and route and configure the target board with the instrumented design. You are then ready to run captures. We have another flow that consists in generating the exhaustive IP as a netlist uh, together with a wrapper and a template for insertion. This is what we call the RTL or manual flow. The insertion requires to manually modify the VHDL or Verilog code to insert the generated module. This module comes with pinout and timing constraints that are used for the synthesis and implementation. You can see here an overview of the exhaustive IP with its main options. On the right hand side you find the link, that is, the unit in the IP that uses the transceivers to send the traces to the external probe. In the center, we represented what we call the capture units. Each capture unit uses a single sampling clock that is received from the design to capture data synchronously. The capture units contain a FIFO used to store the sample data before it is sent outside to the probe. Each capture unit has its own logic for triggering the trigger unit. Worth noting, the exhaustive IP has the unique capability to be able to send the trigger across capture units, and this no matter if they are in a common clock domain or not. On the left hand side, we find the design under test with its connections to the IP. The sample's data is divided into data groups, as each capture unit can receive up to 16 multiplexed data groups. Here is a summary of the exhaustive specifications. Exhaustive is a tool designed to provide unprecedented visibility into the FPGA running at speed. And in the next part of this video, I will proceed with a full demonstration of exhaustive on a real setup.